Uh, J&J, though, Jim, uh, going to be the lead, and you just called it uh, maybe the best company we have in this country. Yeah, look, I think that I like a AAA balance sheet. I like a company that continues to make the numbers, like a company that pays a good dividend, like a company that has the best uh, pipeline, uh, most robust pipeline in pharmaceuticals, and I like a company that's not a hype company. And the fact that they are ready to, to, to do their vaccine. Uh, now, can I like to play full disclosure? I am attempting to get into the trial. Uh, I think it's everybody's duty in this country to get in the trial. They're the only one that's emphasizing the at-risk people. They're not going to... Uh, they want people who are... that we classically view as people who we need to protect. Uh, I don't hear that from any of the other uh, companies. I like the fact that they're willing to give it to the, their whole employee base. This is the way I think, I think it should be done. And I know people are very cynical about vaccines. Uh, I think that if you want the world to go back to the way it was, we need a, a, a successful vaccine. And in the interim, we need antibodies that make it so a therapeutic. Uh, in the meantime, David, you know this. There's got to be a bridge from a successful one. J&J &J is not going to be rushed. J&J &J is not going to be bamboozled into putting something out. I think, David, that these guys have the wherewithal to say no, but they also are just another company that we have to bridge to because a real vaccine needs to be out and about before we can declare it safe. Out and about meaning what, Jim? I'm well, sorry. Well, I mean, look, we're, in, it, we're not in a hot spot in New York, okay? Let's say you're on a college campus. I would love everyone on some of these college campuses, you can go to the New York Times, you see that there's definite hot spots. I mean, Notre Dame right now, they, they're holding, and Notre Dame's got a very good policy. I am not don't want to single them out, but I'd like to go there. I'd like to go to any sports uh, any sports league where I, where I think we're all worried about, uh, anybody who's playing football, David, and I think that that's who I want. I want at-risk people to take it. We're not really at risk as much because we just go, we don't do anything. We're uh, not in the subway. We're not trying to get to work. In, no, but I'd like to be. I think we'd all well, like yes, to be in the city of New York. But and we other, won't be other until we get a vaccine, areas. We'd David. all like to be back to at real levels of activity, and so you want to get into as many hands as you possibly can as quickly as you can, right? We want to get out of Groundhog Day. Yeah, hey, what do. are you doing today? Going to work. What are you doing um, after work? Going home. I know. I, I mean, I, Sorkin I, doesn't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday, by the way. Hump day is what we like to call it. Well, I just think that I, I regard J&J &J as one of the foremost companies, and that I care about a company that can stand up to anybody. It can. It can. I, listen, I don't want to forget, by the way, J&J &J has come a long way. In so many ways, but there was a period of time when back in, let's call it 2000, mid-2000s, Bill Weldon era, it was not going particularly no, well for J&J. &J. When you talk about it being a great company, it is, without right. a doubt. But it also had one of the largest health care fraud settlements in U.S. history, criminal and civil fines. It covered allegations. They marketed Risperdal and other prescription drugs for use not as approved as safe and effective by the FDA. Sorry to bring it up, but I think sometimes well, it is I mean, worth bringing it up in jail, we but say it's fabulous. the greatest I mean, company in the U.S. The, look, they're... There are different administrations. I happen to think that, that Mr. Culp is trying to solve the problem at GE, that the previous problems were not his. I think that, that when we look at Home Depot, Duly noted. we look at what and Mr. Blake did. The right. previous, no I no doubt. And, with, and Alex Gorski has moved on. They have, they have moved away from that era. But it was not a good one for J&J. &J. No, it was. And it obviously, def, this would be a bad era. The Risperdal problems, the right. mesh problems were awful. Yeah. And um, I'm, not, I'm not excusing them. They're not perfect by any means. But I think that they have, the, when I've dealt with the sign, when you call them, they will let you speak to the scientists. And the scientists have a real bead on what needs to be done. And I've spoken to the scientists. I've found the scientists to be compelling in what they want to do. But more importantly, they're not going to be pushed around. And I think the big problem in this country, Carl, I think the big problem is that we fear these companies are being pushed around. I saw what the CDC yep. is erratic. Uh, I, I saw Secretary yep. Azar quoting Dr. Redfield. I frankly don't want to, any of these people to have anything to do with my health because I think that they all want to win the election. 